Royals belong to special powerful families who not only enjoy luxurious life, but also get to hold political power and economical power in their hands. But sometimes, it so happens that these royals find themselves involved in feuds that split opinions and sometimes even the nation in two. But the question is, do you know about the famous feuds of royals? Probably not. Today we are flipping back the pages of royal history and counting down 12 famous royal feuds of the world that shook the world. So without wasting much time, let's get on with it. At number 12, we have Queen Christina of Sweden and her cousin, Queen Marie Elizabeth of Austria, who belongs to two different political and religious ideologies. Queen Christina became the Queen of Sweden in her own right at the age of six after the death of her father, King Gustav II Adolf in 1632, and Queen Marie became the Queen of Hungary and Bohemia in 1711. Though these two were related by blood, they had entirely different personalities. Queen Christina was known for her independent spirit and for being a strong supporter of religious tolerance or freedom of religion, whereas Queen Marie Elizabeth was a strong advocate for the Catholic Church and its traditional practices. Inevitably, their views clashed even on political terms, which led to a strained relationship between the two queens. Even Queen Marie Elizabeth was accused of attempts to convert Queen Christina back to the Catholic Church, while Queen Christina resisted her religious freedom for many long years. Next, we move on from Britain to Spain, and we have a conflict between King Alfonso XIII and his wife, Queen Ina, which impacted the image of the Spanish monarchy for decades. Alfonso XIII, who was the son of King Alfonso XII, was made a king at the time of his birth on the 17th of May, 1886, and at the age of 20, he married Victoria Eugenie of Battenberg in 1906, who was the granddaughter of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. Queen Eugenie's role in this marriage was to support her king and represent the Spanish monarchy at official events and ceremonies. Conflict soon arose between the two due to the queen's poor health and her inability to produce an heir for the Spanish throne. As a result, she was unable to attend official events, which further strained their relationship. Eventually, the couple separated in 1930. After this, Queen Eugenie was forced to leave Spain and spend the rest of her life in England. Next, we have a feud between the father and son of the Alawi dynasty. Here, we are talking about King Mohammed V of Morocco and Crown Prince Hassan II. Born in 1909, Mohammed al Khamis bin Yusuf was declared Sultan by French authorities after the death of his father, Sultan Yusuf bin, in 1927, and two years later, his elder son was born. It was Crown Prince Hassan II. The father and son started having differences from early on. King Mohammed V was more known for his progressive views, whereas Crown Prince Hassan II was more conservative and supportive of traditional Moroccan values and beliefs. This was also the time when Morocco was still a French colony, and the king was involved in anti colonial activities. After a few battles, the king had to exile from his country, and it was believed that the crown prince indeed supported the French in dethroning the king. These differences and tensions between the two led to a lasting impact on Moroccan politics and history. At number 9, we have a feud between two cousins, King Gustav II Adolf of Sweden and Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg. Coming from the House of Vasa, these two grew up together. At the age of 17, King Gustav II became the king of the nation, whereas Maria Eleonora married King Christian IV of Denmark to become the queen. But soon, they started having differences. King Gustav II of Sweden believed her half-sister Marie was having a negative impact on the king, which would lead to the instability of the region. On the other hand, Queen Maria saw her half-brother Adolf as a threat to her power and influence over her husband. The two siblings' feud reached its peak when King Christian IV launched a military campaign against Sweden, which was ultimately unsuccessful. This made the relationship extremely complicated. King Gustav II Adolf later passed away in battle in 1632. Until then, the differences between the two was not cured. Next we have two royals with two different ideologies, King Gustav V of Sweden and his son, Crown Prince Gustav Adolf. Being the eldest son of King Oscar II of Sweden, Gustav V became a king in 1907, and from the beginning, the king started showing signs of having conservative views. He was also an avid supporter of maintaining the absolute power of the monarch. But his son Gustav Adolf, who was born in 1882, had different ideas about politics and running the nation. Prince Gustav was more liberal in his views and progressive policies which included supporting the parliamentary system and believing in limiting the power of the monarch. He even went on to openly oppose his father's policy as a king. This of course didn't go well with their relationship, leading to deep conflicts, and these conflicts continued to exist until Crown Prince Gustav Adolf passed away in a plane crash on April 26, 1947. Next, we have a famous feud between Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and her son, Edward Prince of Wales. Queen Victoria became the Queen of the Nation on June 20, 1837. In their own right and her reign marked one of the golden ages of British history by having multiple colonies. After four years of ascending the throne, she delivered Prince Edward VII in 1841. 
But their relationship was not all good, as there were many conflicts between the mother and son. The Prince of Wales was known for his love of luxury and his scandals, which included affairs with women and overspending that, of course, the Queen didn't like. But their relationship hit an all-time low when Prince Edward started supporting the Boer cause, which was a political movement that talked about the rights of the Boer people, who were Dutch settlers in South Africa. The relationship never healed, and after that, he went on to criticize his mother's conservative views and political policies. At number 6, we have King Charles II of Spain and King Louis XIV of France and their power struggle for the Spanish Netherlands. It was part of the Spanish Empire, which was a collection of provinces that can be found in present-day Belgium and the Netherlands. This was considered a strategic position for both economic and political reasons, and for the same reason, the region was desired by French King Louis XIV. The conflict began in 1668 when Louis XIV went to expand French territory into the Spanish Netherlands, which was equally responded to by the Spanish Empire. But after this conflict, the French king's drive to get the Spanish Netherlands only increased which led to more military conflicts and political maneuvering over the years. The territory was well defended by Spain, but despite some initial successes, France was unable to capture the Spanish Netherlands and the feud finally ended in 1678 with the Treaty of Nijmegen. Coming up next, we have a feud between a king and his only daughter. Here we are talking about King Leopold I of Belgium and his daughter, Princess Charlotte from the House of saxe coburg salfield it was 1830 when Belgium freed itself from the clutches of the Netherlands. The first king of this free country was King Leopold I, and a decade after this, Princess Charlotte was born. Though they had a deep affection for each other, when it came to religion, they had different views. The king was more of a conservative thinker and rated highly of churches which led to the rise of the influence of religion and religious institutions on the nation's internal politics. On the other hand, the princess was a strong supporter of the liberal movement, which advocated for greater political and religious freedoms. This feud between the two made their relationship bitter when the princess started criticizing the Catholic Church and their role, which led to various political moments in the nation. Next we have a conflict between King Constantine I of Greece and his son, Crown Prince Alexander, which turned so severe that it divided the nation into two groups which is still considered a turning point in Greece's history. Being the eldest son of King George I, Constantine I became the King of Greece in 1913. The king was believed to be quite liberal-minded and voiced support for maintaining the constitutional power and limiting power of the monarchy. But his son Alexander, who later became king, came openly in support of centralizing power and control of the monarchy over the country's military. And finally, the moment came when Constantine I had to step down from his throne in 1917 due to some political instability in the nation. And three years later, after Alexander became king of Greece, he tried to impose dictatorship by declaring martial law and dissolving the parliament. This move was strictly criticized by his father. This further deteriorated their relationship, which was never restored till the death of King Alexander in 1920. At number 3, we have a conflict that split the royal court into two groups. This is the feud between Emperor Go Sakuramachi of Japan and Prince Komatsu Akihoto. At the age of 22, Go Sakuramachi Tenno became the empress of the nation in 1762 according to the traditional order of succession. But this was not acceptable to many in the royal court, especially Prince Komatsu Akihoto, who believed she was too young to rule Japan. He even went to express his desire to gain control over the imperial court, which had a significant influence on the country's culture, traditional arts, and literature. This led to the emergence of two factions within the imperial court, one supporting the emperor and the other supporting the prince. Looking at this support, the prince attempted to dethrone Empress Go Sakuramachi through a coup. However, she maintained her power with the support of the court officials. After this, the prince accepted a lesser role in the government, but still, the conflict between the two continued and existed for years. Next, we have a feud between King Charles I of England and the Parliament. This grew so big that it went on to change the power dynamics of monarchy in the nation. King Charles I was born on November 19, 1600 to King James I of England and became the King of England, Scotland, and Ireland on March 27, 1625. He was born in an era when monarchs had all political power in the nation, so naturally, he believed in the supremacy of the king. But Parliament, on the other hand, believed in the principle of parliamentary sovereignty and wanted to limit the powers of the monarch. This power struggle within the nation led to a great war called the English Civil War, which started in 1642. The king even raised an army to fight against the parliamentary forces, but it didn't go as planned. After many battles between the forces of King Charles I and Parliament, the king was captured in 1649, after which the powers of the British monarchy were limited by Parliament. At number 1, we have a feud that turned so ugly that it ended up with a prison sentence. Mary, who was the granddaughter of King Henry VIII, became Queen of Scotland in her own right in 1542, and Queen Elizabeth I, who was the daughter of King Henry VIII, became Queen of England in 1558. 
Coming from the same royal family, they had a warm relationship at first. But it started to rot as Queen Mary began to claim the British throne. She was seen by many Catholics as the rightful Queen of England. It became worse when Queen Mary and her supporters plotted to overthrow Elizabeth, which failed, and all of it came on Queen Mary and destabilized her political situation at home. Later, she had to abdicate her Scottish throne and run for her life, but eventually she was caught and held prisoner in England until Queen Elizabeth I signed the prison sentence in 1587. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below your favorite part and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.